this is a fantastic organisation which does play a very important role. It's quite challenging sometimes because of the diverse membership of the organisation, but I think it is a good voice and it needs to keep people like me and uh, the Foreign Secretary on our toes. You need to hold our feet to the fire and tell us when we're not getting things right because essentially growth, you I know, mean, there's disagreement uh, across the House of Commons on economic strategy and, you know, we would argue that, you know, one of the reasons we're back in recession is because of the decisions the government's made, but then you would expect me to say that. But where there is absolute agreement is to the extent growth is going to come in the future, it's got to be private sector driven. We are asking a lot from you and your members. So the least we can do is to work with you to make sure we're coming up with the policy solutions. And although, you know, I'm the shadow secretary of state for business, and although we're in opposition, we do have a constitutional duty to scrutinise what the government does and ensure they get it right for you. And so that's why, for me, having a dialogue with your members, with John Cridlin, with Roger Carr, is incredibly important because you're on the ground, you're doing business every day. We're in Westminster representing you, so we're not you know, doing business in the way that you are. And so we need you to tell us how to get it right so that you can deliver the wealth and prosperity and the jobs and the success that we know is possible and we want to see. There is a certain gold standard around the UK brand, which we mustn't do down actually, which I think is still out there internationally. Secondly, I think we've got some fantastic innovation in our companies, and uh, you know, particularly where companies are often working in conjunction with our higher education sectors. Like I was at Southampton University recently, and they're developing this um, health. It's kind of health on a chip. So they will, you know, they're developing a chip which will be embedded in each one of us, which will monitor what's happening with our bodies and tell us when we're in trouble and we need to go to the hospital. Now, you might think, my God, I don't think I want a chip embedded, but you can imagine how that could transform healthcare around the world and how that will create a whole new, uh, you know, market, if you like, in a new product which could create new jobs and good quality jobs here. So we are good at innovation. You've got pharma. Um, you know, high tech and some of the green tech industries, we're really producing leading edge technologies. So, you know, of course we need to do more, but let's, you know, not forget to celebrate what we do do at the moment, because that will inspire us to do better in the future.